Welcome back to Core Data Course. My name is Andy. On this lecture, we're going to start creating our data model for the Home Report app. We will look into creating multiple entities and attributes and how to set that relationship for those entities. Now select the model file and we will create our first entities. I'm going to call this home. And the first attribute is going to be price with the type of double. And the next attribute is image. We're going to store the image of the house. And this will have a type of binary data. The next one is square foot. And it will have type of integer 16. Next one is bed. Same thing, integer 16. And bath with integer 16. And I want to put the, the county location. So the county is similar like an area uh, so it's going to be a type of string quick note on the image if we select the image and I'm going to select store in external record file so what this means is core data will decide if it should save the data directly in database or store a URI that points to a separate file. This is to avoid storing large binary data in database. So binary data can store like images, PDFs, or anything else. Next, I'm going to create a second entity. I'm going to call this category. And category will have one attribute called home type type of string and the type here will refer to either like town home or a single family home next I'm going to create a new entity we're going to call this status and status will have one attribute called is for sale and this is going to be a type of boolean and we will add one more entity we're going to call this location and location will have one attribute called city and I'm going to call this I mean that data type will be string Okay, now we're going to make a relationship between our entities. So let's start with the category. I'm going to create a new relationship called home. And the destination will be our home entity. Next, let's go to our home entities and start creating the relationship. The first one is category. And the destination is category. And next one is location. Destination, location. And the next one is status. Look, destination status. All right, next one is location. I'm going to call it home with destination is home and this should infer to the location now and then the next one is status call it home destination home and inverse is status so let's double check that all the relationship is set properly on the category now we can select the category and the relationship is 
to one so this basically means that a home can be categorized as either townhome or single family but not both and next one on the home let's make sure everything is populated and let's check the location so for this location one location can have many homes but a home can only be in one location so location to home is going to too many relationship and last we check the status make sure it's already set so everything looks good now so if you want to see the graphical relationship we can click this diagram and let me make sure I'll arrange this so the one to many relationship is identified by the double arrow so a location can have many homes but one but the home can only be in one location and the, the other is just one to one relationship all right now that we got our data model set let's subclass this and we're going to go to the editor create ns manage object subclass select the home report and we're going to select all of the entities here then click next and i'm going to put it under home report and click create so as usual xcode will generate the properties file and the operation file so let's check some data mapping that xcode has done here so if i for example i'm going to the status you see that is for sale the boolean is being mapped to an ns number and for some reason sometimes xcode like the home entities here instead of being an as a home entity is being mapped to an ns manage object so i'm going to change this to a home and let's check the other entities that we have here for the location remember that one location can have many homes so the array of homes is being represented by an ns set so let's double check on the category again i'm going to change this into a home and under home the category is represented by category location with location and status with status entity and notice when we set the price with a double in our model it's being mapped into an ns number and the binary data for the image is being mapped to ns data the other integer is being mapped to a number and string is still same as a string so we're going to stop here on this lecture and on the next lecture we will start working on building our home report app so until next time